What up though? What up my Taurus babies? What it do, what it do, what it do? It's your favorite. The one and only extra love coming through to see what's popping with you. What up my babies? My bullies and my bosses. One of my faves. Really, I love all our family, but Taurus, man. We done been down through there, ain't we, my baby? Right? That's why you my bullies and my bosses. Because no matter what, you always going to be chill. You always going to be peaceful. And you for sure going to always be nonchalant. Zero bucks given. Yes, I love it. It ain't about you. What is it really about? What up, my divine sovereign being? What it do, though? I see you've been living in that high priestess mode for a minute, peeping everything, right? So, these are called the unknown. Right, my baby? This is what I picked up, the unknown for you. Right? So, majority of our family has 16 videos. I owe you one. So... This would be like your blind spot or something you forgot about, something you forgot that was coming. And we own it per usual. Um, off rip. Seven cards dropped out while we was doing shuffling our decks. We'll get to that in a minute. But the numbers that were prevalent was 33 and 44, right? So two times the the. Okay, the topic for you, for your unknown, is truth is stranger than fiction. And you know that. Us rocking together, you know I'll give you that clarity as it becomes clear to me, right, my baby? And I'm prompted to share with you. So we always keep it real. So just remember that truth is stranger than fiction. And the things that sound so bizarre more often than not, are true, right? And you're definitely discovering that. Again, the common theme for our family is this quadruple Scorpio. Um, just crazy, right, my baby? Definitely, like I said, Scorpio Moon. Three cards I pulled for you is the Star Empress, which is you all day, forever sitting on your throne, right, my baby? And Ten of Pentacles. So I see you um, is what we would call a dying piece, right, my baby? You know what I'm saying? I, I hear you give good love, you know, best sex ever. You know, Scorpio, that's you all day, right? <laughs> Where you're harnessing that energy. How about that, my Taurus? Definitely harnessing that um, Empress energy. But you're also harnessing the Scorpio energy, that fire, that feminine uh emotional energy right my baby so you know besides you being a divine being um let me just give you the message that i, I came from so truth is stranger than fiction it has something to do with your passion see dying piece where did that come from it would have to be 10 pieces of one thing becoming whole as in, ten fractals of you. <laughs> Crazy. Ten fractals of you are with you. Ensuring. Or I should say, you picked up ten fractals of you. Ten cosmic and divine galactic family members that are assisting you at this time. So you would be a dying piece. <laughs> right? A piece of the dying. Right? Something about 10 is going to be prevalent for you. Which, you you know, for my deep divers, we would equate 10 with X's. Because you forever get X's. And, you know, of course you pull up that card. You know what I'm saying? Your destiny. You have a chance to change your destiny. Right? See, Spirit told you to buckle up Buttercup. That's what you heard. Buckle up buttercup. Buttercup meaning a cup of something golden, 
warm, a little salty, but good to the last drop. Like the sun, right? <laughs> right? It's the truth is stranger than fiction. Um, for the destiny card, the message that I got, you know, that's the wheel of fortune. And I heard rise to the occasion, as in you're on the top of the wheel now, my baby. You're co-creating with the universe, with the divine realm, and it's beautiful, right, my baby? And then I got uh, three cups, which is friendship, community, and cheating. So, let's get into it. The second message right behind truth is stranger than fiction is free spirits. You are learning a lot about free spirits. Right? You know that they have the best sex, the best communication, we're going to say, right? So the best spirits abandon South. Uh, that's the message. The best spirits abandon South. So as in the golden rays always rise to the occasion and they tame their lower nature. They temper it. They balance their divine masculine energy with their divine feminine and walk the middle path. Their north node operating out of their heart chakra. Everything that they do is done out of love. Right? And so let's get it. So I see that you've been getting downloads and communications about your galactic heritage and how close you are you are on the pre precipice in, of stepping completely into your power. So you're basically in it, but you're he healing. But you're about to go on your path, right, my baby? So in the next three to four days. So you're definitely, it's so close you can taste it. And that's what they mean by kissing. Kissing, you learned the definition of kissing, right, my baby? So, I also see that you have a neighbor that's a flasher. And that can go two different ways. As in, they're always popping up. Right, my baby? Always popping up. Or they can be like a show-off, an exhibitionist. I hear bunker. Something about a bunker. But, you know, this neighbor has a... A compulsive desire to the, to expose themselves, whether it's physically, spiritually, mentally, they always reveal themselves to something about a neighbor. But I also see non-sexual affairs out here, and it's about five different type, types we're going to talk about. The first non-sexual affair, since we're going to die for a minute would be emotional infidelity. Not really giving your heart 100% to your divine counterpart. The second type of non-sexual affair is like mentally, where a person, they cheat mentally. You know, like these sex illusionists because they're not magicians. You know, they just have these things going on in their head, these scenarios, right? The third type of non-sexual affair is when a person, they have to be the most important person in your life. They kind of like isolate you and they tend to encompass your whole life, right? And they never completely attach to you and they, they will never commit to true love and they're controlled by family. And the divine counterpart really never takes their rightful place in this person's heart. That's another type of non-sexual affair. And you can have a friendship, you know, which, you know, that was synchronicity for someone. Or you can have a visual non-sexual affair when you just have adultery with your eyes. So that's the type of dynamic going on with this neighbor that's flashing, right? 
So you're definitely learning that truth is stranger than fiction about the third will. As in a third party, a third person, or a third strike. Right? For sure. We already told you about the trolls. You know, they definitely live out of their lower chakra, their root chakra. Masculine energy, troublesome. They have no inhibitions, you know, I call them the freaks, right? And th these are the type that, char that try to charm and bewitch you and use witchcraft, you know. And spiritually, they'll come to you. It's like a troll husband, I keep hearing. You know, peacocky energy. You know, they're always very promiscuous. They always trying to run game. They have multiple lives. They might have a wife, a baby's mother, a lover, a chick on the side. And it goes the same way for divine feminine. Because, you know, energy is fluid. You know, they definitely living out of illusions. Living off of illusions and deception. And these also are, the trolls also like to have threesomes and orgies, right? Not by meditating, by physically having um, relations. But then you got the hobgoblins, a.k.a. the clowns, right? So you're learning about the clowns now, right, my bullies and my bosses? You know, they're uh, always creating troubles for people, keeping shit going. They try to hinder and hamper and impede your progress. Um, these are type of people that love throwing daggers at someone, love talking about someone from behind their back. You know, they always try to fuck up your people's plans and um, keep people in standstills. And the main thing about these hobgoblins hob are, because these are real beings and things, they're not mythological characters. I'm giving you the characteristics of these hobgoblins, aka clowns, right my baby? Um, they're always planning, plotting, scheming, strategizing on causing disruptions in other people's lives. Like your mission is to spread love. Their mission is to keep bullshit popping. And everyone plays their roles real well. Right? They like having intercourse. They like fucking with people. They definitely like playing with fire. Right, my baby? Um... They're clumsy and awkward, always available, ass on demand. That's how I heard it. Um, immature, wild, um, a lot of them stutter. Um, that is like taking people through the motions. Awkward and bad mannered. Um, so you're learning about the clowns along with the trolls. And they always are third wheels and when relationships are only for two right my baby so you also have been seeing orbs and you also know that the divine realm is closer than you can imagine and that you be you have been seeing um flashes of light swatches of color you know not only you know, out the corners of your eyes and when you meditate, but actually as you walk around, you'll see colors of light that's enveloped, you know. And just know that those are multi-dimensional divine beings of light for, with, and to the highest love. You know, like I said, you have ten fractals of you. You're a dime piece, right? Ten pennies make a dime. Right, my baby? And, um, you're definitely protected, connected, and directed. You know, definitely. Definitely. And, um, I see your, your son, something about your sunshine. You know, we call it the yum yum. It's something about your yum yum, my baby. We're going to get into it. Um, like I said, you definitely. I'm getting banker energy. You definitely handle a copious amounts of currency. You know, banker energy all day. High vibrational being. 
Um, like I said, you're chased to the bullshit too. And um, definitely um, spiritually intuitive. Yes. Definitely getting assistance from the 12th dimension. Your moon would be in your second house. And then you're on a journey to self-discovery, my baby. And it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our family members went through loss of work and a duplicity, infidelity. Um, a period of bad luck, we're going to say. Worry and setbacks, poverty, scarcity, lack. You know, until you step in your power. I see you worked it all out. A lot of family members lost their job and their home. And it was strictly because you did not have any faith. You either didn't have any or you lost it. Or the, your divine counterpart didn't have any faith or lost it. And you learned to eliminate all that was not for your highest good, my baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Big you here, our divine sovereign being. Thank you, right? So let me make sure I gave you everything. Okay, I also her for you because I've been getting like weather and seeing different locations right my baby so I got F5 plus winds and that's like wow <laughs> that's 261 miles an hour to 318 miles per hour definitely the most high your highest self the divine realm in action and it's going to be a lot of disturbances right and then I kept hearing about something from New Mexico was causing rainstorms in the Amazon, or will. And then, um, some being or thing in South Korea is affecting, um, the weather in Monte Vedeo, Uruguay. And, and just keep saying F5 plus winds. So F5 was the function key, wasn't it, my baby? On the computer. Peep game. And tell me what you remember the F5 function doing. Because that's going to be prevalent now, right, my baby? So, um, the spirits, your um, cosmic and galactic um, team told you to abandon anything that had you operating out of your lower nature right so then the next messages i got for you was a hot mess something about merging your divine masculine and feminine nature and i see uh, somebody was chicken that's what i heard chicken right but i was told to remind you if you want any scratch, <laughs> right, or any currency or money, you have to tap in. There's just no other way. You have to tap in and to surgically remove anything that doesn't serve you. I keep seeing surgeons out here, too. Because you know the golden rule is fair exchange ain't no robbery. Do unto others as you will have others do unto you. So you learned, and our family learned as a whole, is money up front first. You first, then whatever. Then you proceed flat out. You learned not to play with your currency. And those that play with your currency are learning as well. Because like I said, when... When the money man comes and collects and checks the currency, everything better be right. Oh, wait. Ain't no dancing around the issue. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying clowns and trolls and dancers, surgeons and bankers out here. Yep, and you've been getting messages. Texts, phone calls, emails, voicemails. From different types of clowns wanting to wanting to try to elicit a affair out of you, my baby. And I see they're a hot mess. 
somebody asked for a menagerie trial and said you were uh, chicken because you didn't want to do it. They were trying to pay you to have intercourse with them. It is what it is. That's the messages I got so far. Free spirits. Best sex ever. Dying peace. You're stepping into your galactic heritage. Um, I still keep getting this goddess energy about the Amazons and they about to make it rain. And that could be like the dancers. I keep um, seeing Basque, Basque people, you know, like um, Spanish and um, Spanish and French, you know, I keep seeing Basque people. And then I'm seeing like South Koreans. Then I'm seeing Sacred Circle Indigenous. Then I'm seeing New Mexico F5 wins. Drop me a little comment down below once you recollect what the F5 stood for. The Function 5 stood for on the computer. Because you're definitely learning about pinnacles and you're definitely learning about health and wealth. And you know you are never alone. Because remember, you had 10 fractals of you around you. Remember, my baby? Remember? <laughs> right. They're helping you heal the out. You helping others heal, and they're helping you heal. Dig that, my baby. You are never alone. They heal you all the time. They heal you when you sleep. I was told for a lot of family members who aren't getting any sleep, who are noticing um, bags under their eyes to make sure you get rest. That's where you heal. And you're getting justice because you found balance walking the middle path. And you will be stepping into your power. You will be ruling dominion because you took right action, my baby. Beautiful. That's a portal of loving. Four cups. Opportunity beckons. For you to become a healer. For you to get... For you to be healed and get healed or get dragged by the riptides in this world. I see you forever tapped in and you know what's going on on all four corners, don't you, my baby? It's been um, revealed to you. Yes. And I you know, memories of love. I see in the past you had a lot of of non-sexual affairs. You're still cheating, my baby. As in, you're cheating yourself out of the real deal. Right, my baby? That's no good. That's no good, my baby. Not for my bullies and my bosses. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> wow, I just don't know. Y'all, y'all walk in the middle path. You definitely tap into the divine. You're another family member. I just keep smelling like eucalyptus, like Vicks, like the humidifier. Um, eucalyptus, Epsom salt. Definitely walk in the middle path. You remember back in the day when you used to walk the middle path. Right. And you travel a lot at night. You tap in. You be on some spiritual waters, don't you, my baby? And you know you're never alone. You have guys walking with you all the time, my baby. I'll never forget it. Never forget it. Yep, you're keeping your focus. <laughs> keeping your focus on the most high, your highest self. And you are another leopard that have changed your spots. You came from nothing. Or what you perceive as nothing to something. You were in training, my baby. Definitely in training. To, to become that empress. Sitting on that throne. And the moon revealed that to you. Wow. That you were being healed. You were definitely being healed. Luna. Wow. All fantasies and illusions and lies and the deception around you is going to always be revealed. Right, my baby? Because you made a commitment to yourself. All the love you was giving, you started to give to yourself. 
And that's beautiful, my baby. Made a commitment to you in the divine realm to always be the best you that you can be. And now it's being revealed that opportunity beckons. And it's also being revealed that all you have to do is just simply love. And you're, as you're traveling and meditating, you're noticing the free spirits. You know, most free spirits are more open and they're um, overflowing with positive emotions and energy, you know, and they don't repress their negative emotions. They use them as fuel, as a springboard and, um, and pettis to take off, you know. You know, they definitely, most free spirits know the value of harvesting their negative, uh, negativity for fuel. You know, they accept all fractals of them, and that's beautiful. And they're very high vibrational beings energetically. They're monogamous in the moment, all right? They feel a lot of sexual energy. They feel a lot of creativity. And they recognize the value of spontaneity and free spirit. And that's what you are, my baby. I just wanted you to know. You know what I'm saying? But you got faith. Remember I told you that, you know, the clowns, they don't have faith. Nor do the trolls. But you know the power of the most high. Definitely know the power of the most high. Let's get it. So how are you doing, my baby? Beautiful as ever, I see. Excuse me, my baby. Nine of Cups and a Hermit. Mm -mm. Yeah, your highest self. Definitely is traveling with you, you know, illuminating all your commitments, my baby. Showing you just to have a little faith. Your Nine of Cups is here, and you know it. Yes. Beautiful. This is beautiful, my baby. Let's see. Ace of Wands. Ooh, got that spark because you have faith. Look at you. Look at you, my baby. Definitely divine union out here. Definitely divine union. Nine of Pentacles again, my baby. I already told you it was a dime piece. Star, Empress, Ten of Pentacles. Got nine of pentacles yourself. And you a reader. Um, something about the old arts. Astrology, astronomy, science, math. You're going to be so prosperous. And that you see it. Divine realm has revealed it to you. You see your fortune. Because I keep feeling like the eight-pointed star energy for you too. The sun. You already got it. So maybe that's why I'm feeling it. Ooh, you see you in wish fulfillment just by tapping in and meditating. You see that you brought this in yourself. Ooh. You see other people trying to read you too. <laughs> they focused on you. Trying to heal a relationship or something. And you see those that are looking at you strictly because they want to have intercourse with you. And your highest self, the most highest, there's too many cards. It's going to always, well, always reveal what's popping to you. I see you're at home, walking in the middle path. And I see you're a homebody. You like to just lay back and chill and meditate, smoke you some weed. Get those downloads. And you know that this divine love loves you. You know that nature loves you.
because you have a loving nature. Ace of Cups. Ooh, ooh, another portal. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. You got a divine union, a new love, which is loving on yourself. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. And I can make tower to anyone. <laughs> ooh, 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 this is the way it feels. Vine is out here and they're not for no games. They see all the bullshit. And they're making sure this shit crumble. <laughs> making sure it crumbles as it should. Anything that is not built on love. Right, 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 right. Okay. One more card. Yeah. Definitely. I love y'all. I miss y'all. You definitely have brought heaven down on earth, my baby. Wow. Nine of Swords reverse. So someone tried, you know, to hate your way. You know what I'm saying? Nine times. But is it really touching you? Or did the divine him that show up? They're revealing to you everything that was done, every sword, who sent it, why, woo, 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 right? But I also see either a troll or a high blobbing, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it real, my baby. They're sitting on the edge of the bed, masturbating, divine, you know, masculine or feminine, to the thought of you. Can't believe, you know, they, they let you go. Definitely sitting on the side of the bed, doing their thug this Yeah. This looks like somebody you were intimate with in the past. You know, but wants to come over. You know, you must have, you have a beautiful home. And them, it doesn't look like, look like it. It looks like you stay in a baby mansion or something. For sure. For shizzle. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful house. That's too many, girl. Okay. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Emperor, divine masculine out here. So mama and the daddy out here, emperor and empress. You know what I'm saying? Ensuring that you get your ten cups, your wish fulfillment, my baby. That promise, that rainbow, my baby. You couldn't make it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One more card, girl. They, yeah. Some, somebody wish it wasn't playing games with you. You know what I'm saying? They see you happy with somebody. You got a king of cups. You definitely got a new divine counterpart. We're going to say lover. And an ex is sitting around like, damn, I fucked up. They're about to be happy. And I ruined their happiness. You know what I'm saying? I... They gave me love, and they told me they was going to be somebody. And all I wanted to do is have sex with them, not making no commitment, only focused on myself, and I ain't have no faith. So now I'm going to be alone, you know what I'm saying? Don't have no opportunities and just living off of memories. Some card again. Wow. Love and affection. Successfully merge your love and affection, your divine masculine, divine feminine nature, and you're the child of the most high. Just don't get no clear. You definitely heal healthy and in harmony. Definitely tapped into your inner child. Definitely, you know, ascendant, you know what I'm saying? And now you are at least in your ascendant. You done went all the way through your birth chart, all the way to the end to the ascendant. At the very least, my baby. And this is at least the seventh dimension, but I really want to say the eighth. Because you know that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Oh, Ten of Pentacles again. The second Ten of Pentacles, that's 1010, binary code. You definitely unlock your DNA. You know, the rainbow bridge. Family is very important to you, too. You have a lot of family around you. Can't even stress it enough. Cosmic and galactic family members around you at this time, my baby. 
Because you were dying, peace. And remember, truth is stranger than fiction. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I love you, my family. This is beautiful. Wow, that it was three. Right? You have, like I said, you have a, a beautiful home. Beautiful. I can't even stress it enough. And you definitely like to tap in with the most high. Definitely have fun in the divine realm. Just always remember to stay grounded. I see the divine realm, you know, you squat it up. They fuck with you, you know what I'm saying, all day, right? And they were definitely letting you know to abandon, abandon things that had you living out your lower nature to transform. Your higher self tells you that. And it also lets you know, you know, who was sucking off of you, who were taking advantage, um, taking you on a ride called a guilt trip, playing with your um, emotions and your loving nature. Definitely told you to drop those. Anybody that did that in the past, it's a wrap, my baby. Definitely a wrap. Yeah. People that used you to come up in the past, my baby. That's the parent. And see, you always been breaded up like a fish stick. Always had high um, vibrational energy. You're just beautiful. I'm just seeing you beautiful. I see all eyes on you. You're beautiful not only in all, all ways, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, health and wealth, always been beautiful. Strictly because you kept your eye on the most high, your highest self. Always let it let your higher self lead. Always tap in to your your parents. How about that? Definitely sitting on your throne. Right? Yeah, definitely in the past you see that you had a habit of letting you had a habit of feeling guilty because you had just remembered you work for everything you have. You deserve everything, and that's why you're going to get it. You also had a habit of feeling sorry for the people that dogged and drank you. I mean, they're literally sapping off of you. Just as quick as you can get the currency from the divine, here they ask go. And you were not messing with royals. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, if you have to use manual or oral ma manipulation, you know it's not a royal all day long. Right now, baby? It's nothing but pinnacles. I, I, I'm going to count yours up because it's nothing but pinnacles out here, my baby. Real spell. And you can see when people, are, like I said, were just draining you. You putting in the work and they're trying to come up off of your good, clean energy. They were literally sapping your life force away. And you see that. And the universe saw it, too. That's why it's right under the tower card. That's why they making sure that anything that was taken from our family member is going to be replenished. And today is the what? The 28th. It's like I said for another family member. It's only... This was our first day out of three days and nights for someone to be made whole because the tower is out here. And that could be death or a die off. Looking like death, though, because die out is higher learning. It's only two ways for you to meet the most high. I see you went the way <laughs> less travel. You gave up your ego. You stopped believing those press clippings in your lies, and you buried your soul to the universe. You repented, and you just cleaned up your life. You got, like I said, you got tired of being toxic. You know what I'm saying? Others, not so much. They relish it. You know what I'm saying? You've been getting communication. You know, you can't dance around it. And guess what? Like I said, badass being. I told you, you got the star, the empress, ten of pentacles twice, nine of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of wands. You know what I'm saying? So many fucking pentacles. Wow. Nine of cups, ten of cups, a couple of times. Portals, binary code, badass being. And now the person that was juggling you, they see that you're a badass thing, but you're on your way. They always wanted to be on top. That's what I heard. 
They always want it to be on top. Right. You are everything. If you only knew how bright this table is, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's a lot of cards, girl. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. That was about 15 cards. They just popped in on. Let me show you. Yeah. You just basically learning that people just want to have sex with you, my baby. They were fucking with you. Not fucking with you. How about that? <laughs> So you got that higher higher learning, that wisdom. You know about marital sex. Definitely know about marital sex, my baby. Right. You're definitely getting guidance. And wisdom. Yep, and you know now who to fuck with and who to fuck in this world. It's real spill. It's just Two of Cups. You can't make it up. And that's why you always maneuvered like that. You always was tapped in. Your higher self, Hermie baby, was always telling you. Yes. Ace of Wands again. Some played off of you because they knew you loved. And they knew that you loved to have sex. So they played off of that. To get your sunshine. And your father revealed that to you. Right. Princess of Swords. You know what I'm saying? Captain Save a Home. That, that was what you used to always do. Try to save people. You know what I'm saying? Right. Badass being. <laughs> Like I said, it's something about your yum yum. Another title card. You are never alone. Because you are dying piece. <laughs> wow. Yes, because in the past, this is crazy. In the past, Six of Cups you used to mess with a sex magician, magician card. And he was fucking her. You was in love with them, and they was just in love with your sex. Clear as day. And then they was really the king of swords. They weren't really no magician. They was really the king of swords. King of swords, king of wands. Man. Wow. And here you go again with another sun card. Third sun card. Because like I said, you brought heaven to earth. You know where your heaven on earth is. And the people that you have relations do too. <laughs> right. In the past, you thought you can create something with this person. You, They were coming up off your energy, sitting on their fat ass, right? Just fucking you. Was not uh, emotionally invested in you at all. You know, kept you in a mental imprisonment. You know, your young, beautiful energy. Suck you. Everything about you is beautiful, my baby. Whether you're masculine or feminine, I see you have to beat them off with a stick, my baby. You know what I'm saying? And some people are realizing that the only reason they got married is because the person loved to have sex with them. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Okay, let me put this back. Where are we at? Okay, a couple more minutes now. Might as well speak on it so we can transmute it with love and keep it moving. Yeah. And this person from the past that's masturbating since we're going to put it out here. You know what I'm saying? And they finally, finally, ding, 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 was revealed to them that you're the empress or the emperor. And they see how they use and drain you and set your energy. So now they're thinking about the past when you used to have relations with them and all of that. And... Your highest self is realizing, I mean, helping you to realize that you were the spark in, this, in any relationship that you're in. You're always the badass being. You're always the one to make it pop off. And the people that you were intimate with, um, 
they were basically like I'm I don't mean to say it but you know they were basically like peons you know saying motherfuckers you peon because they were never in your level a lot of these people you know weren't even supposed to be messing with you my baby especially this person this person is a handler this person was sent into your life to dog and drag you and to send you down through the valley because you you worship having sex. You you were like promiscuous. So you know, you just kept getting sent handlers until you learned to love you more. And that's what it looked like, my baby. Right. I see you um, pray, you know, for these, some of these relationships, a lot of our family members. And guess what? They always, plans always went awry, you know what I'm saying? Until you start using your um, solar plexus to will in what you wanted, right, my baby? And you, then sometimes you felt stuck until you got stability and merged your higher and lower self. So now a lot of our family members, they can astro travel on everything now. Because they're stepping into their power. And they're doing it at home at night. That's when a lot of family members see like their parents and grandparents. Even um, spirit animals. There's a lot of dogs that are here. And you know that dogs protect you spiritually just like um, cats protect you spiritually. Just wanted to remind you that. Yeah, you definitely got love now. You're definitely in divine union. The emperor and empress are sitting here watching all of this, my baby. They're watching all of this. So let's get a few more cards and then we'll be up out. Remember, truth is stranger than fiction. You know what I'm saying? This, this, you know, these fragments that are coming back up to be transmuted... It's like you, uh, everything was peachy when you was subservient or letting somebody else take the reins. But as soon as, you know, energy shift, you know, we in Aquarius, now it seems like somebody can't handle taking the back seat. And it's so sad. Because like I said, <laughs> it's judgment, the tower and death out here. So, like I said, there's only two ways you can meet the most high. First being a body drop, where you actually have to transition to meet the most high. Because people don't know that it's an alternative way to meet God. Strictly by meditating and tapping in. Concentrating on you, like Jeffrey Hines doing, you know what I'm saying? LTD. And smooth like that. Then you can walk in your destiny. Honestly, my God. Spirit is... Okay, I'm going to take these. I'm being directed to take these. Ace of Wands again. Wow. You, like I said, you in the past, you brought that fire. You brought the spark in whatever relationship you went, were in. Friendship-wise, relationship-wise, family-wise, platonic, business-wise, whatever. You always bring the spark, my baby. You're that free spirit. And that's why, oh my God. And then you got the full card again. Zeros and ones. Remember I told you 10-10. Here we go again. Right? Six of wands. You know what I'm saying? People is a truck. You know? People tell you anything to taste some of your honey. Your honey pot. You know what I'm saying? They want some Winnie the Pooh. You know what I'm saying? But they really piglets. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I see this person. You know, they gave the illusion like they were loving and caring. Knight of, Knight of Cups. But they were really Knight of Swords. And I see that they dogged and dragged you in front of family members they were trying they trying to control you 
they were at least anyway. You know what I'm saying? And they can they were you three of pentacles, they really only using you to you know, come up and get some warmth. Some of your sunshine. And the most I telling you that definitely telling you that all these people that they're bringing up to you, all these dynamics coming up to be transmitted, transmuted back into light, that all they wanted to do was get some of your yum yum. And nine of cups, all you did was love people. And they recognized that. A lot of people like, wow, I didn't love like nine people, gave nine people a chance and I, you know, end up getting cold. Or what you thought was all. It's all a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? A lot of family members are dance. They're, they're dancers. Keep seeing a lot of legs. A lot of legs. Chicken. A lot of chicken drumsticks out here. How about that? <laughs> right. Three of cups. Man, look. 33. Yeah, so it, now it's 30, 33, 44, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11. Two title cards. Y'all here getting them. One more card. Free spirits. Yeah, you on your way to a new love. Loving yourself. You done been through a lot, my baby. You peeped the play. Now here comes this person from the past. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Seeing you in a relationship, sick with it. But remember, they don't really love you. They just love your yum yum. Then I tell you, Empress again. Empress again, my baby. Huh? Wow. That is been. Right? Let me get you some fortune cards. My oh, baby. Woo, woo, woo. Truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Your sexuality was tied to your spirituality. Definitely. Yes, historic. Yep, change of residence for the better. Sooner rather than later. Yes, something about historic. Something about a baby. A lot of our family members are pregnant or have given birth. One second, family. Okay, one more time. There we go. You see. <laughs> you see, my baby. Mm-mm-mm. You see, it's a great interest being taken in you. Yeah, you see a lot of people looking at you. Right, that's the princess of pentacles. You a reader. You an empath and intuitive. So, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Wow, now three cards popped out. The kitten. Remember, we got the dogs in the spiritual realm. Now we got the kittens. And you can see when people are bullshitting you. They're they're only telling you what you want to hear so they can get on. Because they, you, they know that you brought heaven down on earth. And they know where your sunshine is. And if somebody interferes with your healing, 
they're going to have personal injury. And that's the fact. The divine has told you that. Great personal injury and strife in a person's life if they mess with you. You are bride of the divine. Dig that. It's fulfillment of your highest dreams. You know what I'm saying? You're definitely in the divine union. And this is the fortune being told of a lady. This is the fortune of one of our sisters, the empress. The child of an emperor and an empress all day. This is your fortune. All day. You see, you are definitely at least in the fifth to seventh dimension, you know, and at least in your ascended node, and all of your senses have been elevated, and you can definitely tell, you know, your highest self, Hermie Baby, is going to always let you know when people just want to get some, um, meow or some sausage you know what i'm saying because you definitely tap into the divine realm you have an intimate relationship with the divine realm and i see you sitting pretty and i see you about to travel and i see a lot of wedding com commitments so you know let me come up your money baby Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm counting upwards to $30,000. All pinnacles, my baby. All pinnacles. Empress, claim this divine message from one of my brothers or sisters. Up to 30,000 in the next four days. And I see that you see that. You see money is coming. You see currency is coming. You see. All because you have faith. This is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Really? Up to 35,000. Up to 35,000. I forgot one of your badass being cards. I'm sorry, baby. Up to $35,000 in the next four days. What else can we say, my baby? Truth is stranger than fiction. You're definitely a child of the Most High. Make sure that you remain grounded and focused. Root in your energy. Relax, stay out the way. Keep your eye on the prize. And safe travels. I love you. See you in a few days, and thank you for coming and making love with me. I love you, my baby, and just remember you are never alone. I just want to make sure I give you all your messages. Yep, the best sex in this realm is by free spirits, dying pieces, because I hear you're out of this world, out of this world. And it's a lot of bowlers, too. I kept picking that up, too. A lot of family members love to bowl. Yes. Something about a bowl. And orbs. You've been seeing a lot of orbs, too. Well, bye, my baby. I'll see you in a few. This is your unknown, my bullies and my bosses. See you in a few. Bye.